So this notion of cultural continuity and cultural continuation is very important to us. And that's obviously part of what drew me to the Benedictine life. What that means in practical terms for manuscripts changes over the centuries. So early on, it was copying manuscripts to make sure that we didn't lose uh, classics of Latin or Greek literature or early Christian writings, biblical texts. In the early modern period, it meant finding manuscripts and producing good printed critical editions from them, which French Benedictines did, the Marist congregation. In the Cold War, it took on a different sense. And there were monks of this monastery who were very aware of the situation in Western Europe. And those of us of an age can remember the Cold War, and it seemed like there might be World War III. It would be a nuclear war if it happened. And on the monastic side, there was awareness that monasteries in places like Austria still had their manuscripts. They didn't have a Reformation. They didn't have a French Revolution. So here you have ancient monasteries, very important manuscript collections, and they're sitting in a neutral country, which is between NATO and the Soviet-led Warsaw Pact what would happen to those manuscripts, which contain a witness to what was received and then treasured by Benedictine communities. So the original inspiration of our work was, let's go and microfilm those things, just in case. 